Hey guys, how's it going? So I want to make a video as I just approached the uh, state park. It's going to be a video with uh, my wife right there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be testing out the autofocus on the new 2.4. I'm also going to uh, leave the uh, AF settings to off, so I'm not going to plus or minus anything. Uh, just to give it a fair comparison because everyone um, likes those settings to be a little bit different so this is just going to be um, off everything just uh, pretty much point and shoot so hopefully it looks good right now and not going anywhere to the back i'm also using um the square in the middle uh center point i think so that's what i'll be using i'm not going to be using face detect or anything like that because i think that's the worst <laughs> so yeah and that's my wife right there so yeah guys, hope, hopefully you enjoy this awesome scientific test. <laughs> So honestly, so far so good. Um, that previous shot you just did, again, um, it actually switched a lot quicker than I was expecting. Um, what do you think? <laughs> she doesn't speak English, so this is this is pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, let me focus on the back. And back to me. To the back. And back to me. So yeah, it's actually working really much better than 2.3. I think. Not sure yet. So you want to do the same picture or two separate ones? I know, but we're just taking one picture and then we're done with these. Finley? Okay, I'm actually going to try face detect right now and see if that's any better. So, let's try, I guess. But yeah, how does it how's it looking? I think it looks I can't really tell that much of a difference at the moment. I'm pretty sure when I go home and edit this on my computer, I will see a bigger difference, I think. But I don't know, let's check it out. Let's go to the background. And back to me background back to me I mean it's it look, looks like it's working but I, I still feel like single point detection like that little box in the center I still think that's a little better because you're literally telling the camera where to focus but this is a GH5 and it never listens <laughs> so I still can't really figure out which is best I'm right now I'm just chasing my wife wherever she goes but hopefully this looks decent enough for a vlogging setup. Right now I am doing a face detect, or it's in the settings of face detect. Let's try going to this right here, and back there, right here. Yeah, it's actually going quicker than I expected. And to my <laughs> wife, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Yeah, it's working. Face detect is uh, working pretty well, even if there's no face involved. Not bad. What do you think? Okay, that's beautiful. There you go.
So now I'm going to try face detect, having my wife just come straight towards the camera and we'll see how how well it tracks her pretty much or if there's any breathing going on. So that's going to be the next test coming up right now. So that that worked actually pretty well. Um, much faster than I expected. Again, th these settings are just strictly like uh, off. There's no AF custom settings. This is just straight out of the camera. And um, from what I noticed is that if you're focusing from something very, very close to something very far, it still has a tough time doing that. But if you're not that close to it, a subject, if the subject is the one that's walking, it seems to focus much quicker. Um, a good example of that would be this next test right now. See, it's having a tough time going back on the tree. It just takes a little bit longer. And now it's and now it looks like it's actually doing good. Up, oh, see, right there. So if you're not that close to anything, it'll actually focus much quicker than this. So now I'm going to try out face detect by having my wife come into frame uh, randomly. And we'll see how quickly it switches focus from the background to the foreground and then back to the background. So let's try that right now. So that actually happened a lot quicker than I expected. That was pretty much instant, right, babe? Was that instant? Yeah. It, what was it? Was it instant? <laughs> she has no idea what I'm saying. It's so cute. Yo, check out this sunset. Too bad this does not have iPhone HDR on the new one, or else you would be able to see that. In fact. Out of curiosity, I'm going to try showing you guys this same exact clip with the iPhone XS Max just to show you guys how much of a huge difference uh, Super HDR or, or whatever they call it uh, makes for video. Okay, now I'm recording with the iPhone XS Max and I'm going to show you guys this same exact uh, view, I guess. And as you guys could tell, it looks pretty damn good. I'm, I'm surprised. There's a squirrel up there somewhere. <laughs> Can we find it? No. Nah. That lighting though. <laughs> So overall, I think uh, version 2.4 might be slightly better. Um, I'm not really sure. I didn't really think 2.3 was any worse. Um, but yeah, overall, it's not that bad. And you guys can't even see me right now. Let's try this way. There you go. So yeah, 2.4 is pretty good for vlogging. I still wouldn't really trust face detect uh, that much. I would really use a single point autofocus. And it seems to be the best. Uh, seems to be the quickest as well. I mean, there you guys go. It's it's pretty quick. I'm using the Olympus 12 to 40 Pro. Uh, lenses do make a huge difference, by the way. If you have just an outdated old lens, the autofocus won't be as good as ones with the updated motors. So that's something to keep in mind. Overall, I love it. All right, adios, guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, subscribe. Don't forget to send this video to your all your pets and friends and family and dog. All right, enjoy.